Hello again to our YouTube family. I'm Brian and sitting next to me is Steve. Together we make up two-thirds of the hobby farm guys. Of course, the other third is Eric, who's behind the scenes doing 90% of the work. I mean, we all got to do our fair share, right? Exactly. Just like each chicken in your flock has to do their fair share on your hobby farm or homestead. Maybe they're laying eggs, maybe they're protecting the flock, or maybe their role is to make the ultimate sacrifice to provide you with dinner. And if you're looking for a heritage breed of chicken that will make that sacrifice for you, you've come to the right place. Today we go over there our top 12 picks of heritage chicken breeds if meat is your priority. Of course, subscribing to this channel requires no sacrifice, but provides the benefit of being able to catch all our videos on a variety of small scale farming topics. You can even do it in the few seconds that this intro plays. For a lot of backyard chicken keepers, the thought of butchering excess birds or birds that aren't productive is one they'd never consider. Other flock managers want to minimize waste and will cull birds from the flock when it's needed. For a few, having a chicken in the freezer is one of the primary reasons for keeping a flock at all. If you fall into the first group, this probably isn't the video for you unless you're the curious type. But for the rest, it really helps to know what are the qualities desired in a good table bird. Furthermore, what breeds should you select when starting or adding to a flock? And there's a number of options. First, it's important to discuss the role of broiler chickens, or meat birds as we usually call them. If you want to have meat in the freezer that isn't commercially raised and prepared with minimal cost and effort, this is the way to go. Buy them as chicks in the spring, feed them for 6 to 12 weeks, and they're ready to process. But there are some downsides to going this route. The first downside is that you aren't raising a sustainable flock. Many of these breeds won't mate naturally, which brings us to the other downside. You have to buy chicks each time you decide to raise some up to refill the freezer. Finally, these breeds are developed to grow quickly, which means they aren't always the most flavorful options. That's where heritage breeds fit in. By definition, a heritage breed is one that first has an established standard. In the US, the American Poultry Association does this. They can also mate naturally, have a long and productive lifespan, and they have a slow growth rate. So they're great for small farms and homesteads where sustainability is favored over speed to process. With all that in mind, we come to the main reason for this video. Our list of 12 heritage breed chickens to raise if meat is among your priorities. Now we stuck to breeds that are widely available in North America and are relatively inexpensive. While there are other breeds like the Bress or Moran that are great, they might not be an option for many. So Steve, how about you start us off? Sure. Our list is in no particular order since they're all great breeds, and we start with the Sussex. They're a great forager, so they work well if you free range your flock. They put on fat quickly, and their white skin produces a clean carcass. They're ready to butcher in 16 to 20 weeks and will reach 7 to 9 pounds in that time. Next up is the New Hampshire Red. While many think this breed is similar to the Rhode Island Red, they produce fewer eggs and more meat. Like the Sussex, they like to be able to forage. A yellow skin breed, they're ready to process at 16 to 20 weeks and will weigh between 6 and 9 pounds. Next up is the Buff Orpington. This breed is not much of a forager, so they will eat more from the feeder. They also take a little bit longer to reach processing weight, around 18 to 24 weeks. But it's worth the wait as they reach 8 to 10 pounds with clean white skin. Moving along, we come to the Dorking. This five-toed breed has been around for a long time and is considered to be one of the most flavorful options. They also have the desirable white skin that many prefer. They're ready to process at 16 to 20 weeks and reach a weight of 7 to 9 pounds. Next up, we have a breed that was developed to replace turkeys at the dinner table, the Jersey Giant. They're slower growing than many of the breeds on our list, taking 20 to 24 weeks before being ready to process. But this yellow skin breed can reach 10 to 13 pounds. That's a big chicken. And if you like the idea of a large breed, but still want to be able to process them in the 16 to 20 week time frame, check out the Brahma. They'll reach 9 to 12 pounds and can forage well, or be kept strictly on a commercial feed in confinement. Just be careful to keep their feathered feet clean and dry. We're halfway there, and our next pick is the Black Australorp. Developed in Australia from the Black Orpington, hence the name, 
They're a very hardy breed, a yellow skinned breed that will reach weights of 5 to 8 pounds. They can be ready to process in 16 to 20 weeks. Next up, we have a heritage breed that makes up half the commercial Cornish cross broiler, the Cornish chicken. They were originally bred for fighting, but made their mark as a meat bird. They have yellow skin, reach 8 to 10 pounds, and are ready to process in 18 to 22 weeks. The other half of the Cornish cross genes were supplied by the white Plymouth Rock. All varieties of the Plymouth Rock are a good choice of meat bird for your flock. Before World War II, they were the most popular small flock breed. Reaching 7 to 10 pounds, they're ready to process at 16 to 20 weeks. And with similar plumage to the barred Plymouth Rock, the Dominique distinguishes itself by its rose comb. It's one of the oldest breeds of chicken in North America. Yellow skinned and ready to process in 16 to 20 weeks, the Dominique will reach 5 to 7 pounds. Our next breed is one of the first dual purpose breeds developed in the U.S., the Wyandotte. They're cold hardy and great foragers, a yellow skinned breed. They'll reach 6 to 9 pounds and can be processed in 16 to 20 weeks. And the final breed on our list is one of my favorites, and they've been part of my flock for a few years now, the Delaware. They're great foragers and love to free range. They're also one of the fastest growing of the heritage breeds. They'll reach 6 to 9 pounds and can be ready to process in as little as 12 to 16 weeks. So there it is, our list of 12 heritage breeds that are a great choice for those wanting a table bird too. Of course, there are other options and we'd love to hear what your favorites are. So leave us a comment down below. Many of these breeds have been featured in our Spotlight series, so you can check out our Chicken Breed Spotlight playlist to learn more about these and many other breeds. And if you enjoyed the video, please help us out by clicking that like button. Thanks for all the support from our viewers and happy hobby farming everyone.